Here I am with the iPhone 5 in the amazing Northwest waiting for the sunrise and although I didn't get to see the sun with this cloudy weather, this trip showed me just how great the iPhone 5 camera quality really is. And I'll be showing you guys some footage of low light, clarity, macro and focus tests I performed. On paper, the iPhone 5 camera appears unchanged from the 4S, remaining at 8 megapixels which is on par with many smartphones around today, however the iPhone 5 excels where the 4S camera didn't. I would say the biggest improvement comes in at low light quality and image stabilization. I mean, I could be recording in a car going 60 miles per hour on bad terrain in a dark forest, yet still get awesome and more than watchable shake-free quality. A new sapphire crystal lens and A6 processor work together, providing you with an outstanding picture vividness in all conditions. Here in Washington, we live surrounded by clouds and rain day and night, yet the iPhone 5 brings clarity and color vibrance to those sometimes dull and gray days without making the picture quality unrealistic. Pictures in sunlight, however, are jaw-dropping, as you could compare the quality to entry-level DSLR cameras cameras and no I'm not kidding it's really that good. Macro is great as always I see no improvement here from the 4S however low light is where the iPhone 5 just kills any competitor. I can be in an almost pitch black room and have my iPhone make out colors and objects easily as the A6 chip processes the image. Of course the darker your surroundings get the noisier the image quality and focusing is a snap can be done mid video without being too intrusive. Your depth of field or bokeh using this 2.4 aperture lens is amazing especially with pictures. I'll have a separate review up for the picture quality however I do I do hope this video helps you get an idea of just how sophisticated Apple's camera has gotten. And I want you guys to know that megapixels do not matter. Quality realistically is not defined by numbers, but by the image sensor quality and ability to perform in various scenarios. And I would appreciate if you guys liked and favorited this video, as well as comment. I would like to hear any questions you have, any comments about the camera quality, let me know. And please subscribe as there will be so much more iOS 6 videos coming in the future and about the iPhone 5. And I'll keep you guys posted with more great videos. Peace.